Hello, everybody. Um, today is cl kitchen cleaning day because yours truly left it go yesterday. And oops. Yeah, oops. I died dead. Well. Pain, chronic pain, people. Chronic mm, pain. Chronic pain. Chronic illness in general sucks. Well, yeah, and my wife and I take turns being caretaker and caregiver and patient. So, um, that happens. So, anyway, um, we're going to do dishes today. We're going to make cookies and patter cakes again. So, I don't know if you guys caught my original pancake video, but, you know, I'm going to try and break these up, this up into three different videos for you instead of all in one because that's going to take like a three hour video. And I really don't think people are that patient. So, um, first things first. The way I like to do my dishes is this. Um, since I used to be a chef, and I've spent more than my fair share of time doing dishes. So, yeah. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't the guy with the clean uniform in the front that looks all good, you know, on the... On the videos that you see with the Iron Chef and stuff like that. No, that wasn't how we did business. You know, you cooked, you cleaned, you did your dishes, all of it. The dishwasher didn't show up, tough, tough tooties. You, one of you guys got to go back there. <laughs> so, what I like to do is organize my dishes. Um, I took out this table so that we have more room in the kitchen. So I'm using the oven door as a table. And since I'm not gonna put a whole, a whole lot of weight on it, it shouldn't be an issue. I try not to do that, but you know, I have nowhere else to put them at the moment. There's literally no room in It's here. either that or the floor. And I am not bending down that far. That's, that's hard enough right there. So- Why is your fan in here? Well, because I was using it to keep cool, and I haven't set it up yet. So I guess I better get on that, too. So anyway, I like to organize everything. I usually do my cups and silverware first. Um, because by the time I get done with the glasses, the silverware has had time to soak. And if it's not soaked good enough, I will just keep going with the dishes. Um, it usually takes me two or three sink loads to get it done. So in between sink loads, I'm going to be doing something else. Um, so over here, we've got the start of the disgusting ugly dishes. So I got put the silverware in first, we'll put the cups in, get the hot water going, you know, the usual stuff. I use plenty of soap because... So. He uses soap that I can't use. Yeah. She, her hands will not tolerate that soap. And as for my hands, it really dries them out and makes them Do you want to fussy. explain what that soap in particular did to my hands? Um, it's got something in there that her skin doesn't like, so it makes it red break out. It kind of looks like she's got a, a combination of burn and rash. Let's not forget about the peely. <clears throat> that either. You're so appealing, my dear. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to hold the camera still. I'm just very shaky at the moment, and I've got a bad headache, so. Yeah, she's working on a migraine. Um, I use completely solid hot water because my hands have no nerves. So, and for whatever odd reason, I have no idea why, because I didn't build this place. So I'm not this place was just fucking thrown together. <laughs> well, somebody built it. Oh, all right. I Prime example. I mean, it's why got would you some... put metal in a kitchen? Because that's what they had, and it actually does look nice. I like the, I like the combo. Just it could be nicer. That's mm -hmm. all I'm saying. So I use completely, absolutely straight hot water because my hands can tolerate it. And it helps get the food and stuff off the dishes, as I was saying earlier. Um, in between sink loads, I'm going to be doing pancakes and cooking and all of that other stuff. So You have a full day in the kitchen. I do. I've got a full day in the kitchen. 
and I'm going to try and get some videos out because I, it's my understanding that you guys want some more videos. I get your comments. Uh-huh. I hear your comments. So. It just takes them a minute to be able to get there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Excuse me for added food in the sink that is not supposed to be there. But, you know, that's the way that works. So. You want to tell them about your favorite sponge and tank stuff and what do you mm -hmm. use to clean? Um, well, here's my soap that I'm going to throw in there. Plenty. Because... So for whatever the hell reason, my sprayer is connected to the hot water line and it's got, the valve is, doesn't open. a non-existent sprayer. Well, and the valve won't open up until it's hot enough. Yeah. So it's, it's got a thermal, um, thermal valve in it, whatever the weird reason is. The, is just beyond me. But as you can see guys, I'm just going around putting the stuff in. Now my first the first object objective is to soak. She doesn't believe in soaking. I believe in soaking my dishes. I just think soaking is a waste of time. That's all. I don't. I've learned over the years that soaking helps get it off without you having to scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub. And scrub. Yeah well I'm, you shouldn't have to scrub and scrub with your favorite sponge. Smile. Ah! <laughs> Smile. Stop moving. I'd okay. like to move. What is that? This is the scrub daddy that you bought me. Mommy. Or scrub mommy. And it's a two-sided it's a two-sided uh, scrub sponge. It's from it's English made from what from I understand. Amazon. And you get them off of Amazon, but they are the most amazing sponges because unlike the green scratchies, this is this is a lot more sturdy and it still doesn't scratch your dishes. So and you've you got stole it. it from me. He did. He stole he stole my sponge and the pink stuff the, from me. And this this stuff here is amazing. Now we don't once again I'm gonna do a disclaimer that this is not advertising for them. We this do not is get something paid. That we bought. Yeah, this is just something we bought. If they would like to have that happen uh, I'm open to it, but because this is some amazing stuff, and yeah, when they say it's the pink stuff, that's exactly what they mean. Honey, there uh, you go. Pink stuff. Now, what There's you an alarm going off? Yeah, what you do with this is you put it on your greasy like pans and stuff that have burnt on stuff stick. Um, you can also use it on your barbecue grill um, screens. Wait. All of that, and it give it a second and scrub it off with one of these. He, you're golden. Okay, just for reference here, you can take the bottom of one of these pans, which you would think would be burnt on. You can take the the pink stuff right there and a scrubby like that, and that will come out silver again. Now I'm going to show you guys. This is what I mean about this being so tough. Now I'm squeezing it, right? You can hear. This is the, it's rock solid, guys. Rock it's, solid. Let it soak for a minute. Woo. There you go. And now it's soft. Now it's soft. It's soft, but it still has it still has a lot of scrubbing power to it. So, and then on top of that, you can use. Oh, I better not touch that. No. You can use the, the smiley part yeah. for forks, spoons, knives, whatever. Mm. You can use the eyes for straws. You and know. Which is what I do use them for. It's for straws. It's, it's many different things. And this is another tool that should be a must-have in every kitchen. You thought I was crazy for that. I did. I thought she was nuts because she was washing dishes with this. I'm like, you're nuts. This is for glasses. Come to find out that if you have stupid shit like um these square containers here this here will get right into those those cracks those crevices right there and clean them up just lickety split and you called me crazy and i called her nuts i had to i actually had to go apologize <laughs> i had to eat my pride and go apologize no um 
Yeah, I had to had to apologize because I thought she was nuts and she wasn't. She was crazy like a fox, and I didn't realize it. I've proved a couple things to you. Oh, you keep you do that on a daily. <laughs> Don't sell yourself short on that. Well, she does. She proves it, proves shit to me on a daily, and you know I'm supposed to be the expert in the kitchen, and she comes up and shows me stuff, and I'm like. That's genius. Why didn't I think of that? Like pasta chips, for example? Yeah, she found a way to make chips out of pasta. Um, so for some of you, for some of uh, all, uh, so, some of <laughs> uh, <laughs> reset. Um, <laughs> ooh, man. For some of us who can't have salt, um, the pasta chips was a great idea because I get hungry for crispy, you know, chips. It's, per it's perfect for you. Yeah, for potato chips or whatever. And um, we don't we don't buy a whole lot for chips. We like really actual don't. Chips. I don't buy bags of chips because if you look, you can go down the entire aisle and you might, if you're lucky, find two or three that's low salt. But none, I, I've only found one that was no salt. And I don't know where that went. It disappeared. So, as a consequence, no crispy. Well, what she did was she showed me a little uh, thing on making pasta, pasta chips. chips. And what you do is you, you make the pasta as normal. And then you season it how you like. Or you make the pasta as normal. Then you fry it to crispy it. You know, like the, the, you know those Taco Bell little crispy things that you fry in there? The, oh, the, yeah. The cinnamon sugar ones. I forgot what the name of them was. It's been years since I worked there. But, um, but you fry them up like that. You know, you fry them up and they're crispy. Then you take them out and, and cool them down and put your seasoning on there. And you can season it however you like. If you want Italian on it, great. If you want it Mexican, do it. You know. If, and that's what's so good about those is yeah. that, you know, you can season them however you want. You can put a mm -hmm. salt if you want, but now, the salt is not a necessity for pasta chips. Now here is the best part of that. It works with gluten-free chips or gluten-free pasta as well. And I'm going to show you. So you know. Uh, those of us who are diabetic, we have to have a high protein diet, correct? Yes. These have, are a godsend. These are my favorite noodles. I use them every time I cook. But these will work with that too. He won't buy anything else, guys. No, but see, 22 grams of protein, 8 grams of fiber. And then let me go back here. Yeah, they've got carbs in them. You know, an entire box, if you decide you're going to eat the whole box, is 56 grams of carbs. But you still got the protein. So, so ever since he found out about those, he won't buy anything else. And yeah. then there's, let me, let me show them your little pasta stash. This is the little pasta stash right here. So this is the tea that you guys are constantly asking me about. It's, it's it's a dollar at Walmart for the whole box. Yeah, so very cheap, very we, good, but very cheap. But we have all of this down here, which keep in mind, I can't eat any of this. Mm -hmm. However, this I can eat. These ones I can eat. It's stuff like that that I can eat. But I don't know if you guys can hear my alarm going off. It's stuff like this I can't eat. You know, there's things, the tea in here is that tea in there. I can only have stuff like Alfredo sauce because I can't have tomatoes. Mm. There's gluten-free uh, pasta dinner thing. There's, we have a whole bunch of lentils, which you're not allowed to have. No, lentils give me the rankest gas ever. Let's Your just... probiotic tea gave you gas. Never my pro... mind. My probiotic tea gave me enough gas to 
declare bio warfare on any anyone on the planet. In between you and Moo. <laughs> oh no, I beat Moo. Uh, a couple I, times, yeah. And when <laughs> you know when you have when you have gas and then you have to run out of the room because you stuck yourself out. Um, I also found out something interesting. So these are chicharrones. This is a thing in chicharrones that I ended up emptying because <clears throat> I couldn't keep my face out of them. Um, they're 150 milligrams of salt. Can't get away from the salt. However, here's the neat thing about these. They're eight grams of protein and zero carb. So what you do with these, you can eat them or you can crush them up and make like a breadcrumb out of them and put them over your salads. You can put them over your enchiladas. Uh, you know, when you make the, your green bean casserole, you can use these instead of the onions, stuff like that. Okay. So that's supposed to be on a cooking bed, but we kind of put it on the cleaning bed. Anyway, my wife needs to go. She has a meeting. Um, I have to go take some pain medication too. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stop the video and start a new one. Hi, we're back again. As you can see from the sink, I've got a fairly decent sized sink full of stuff. Sorry for the wobbles. Um, I bought a new stand for the tablet so that I could do this a lot easier. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what we were saying earlier about all of that you have you really do have a lot of options if you if you think about it you do have quite a bit more options than it looks like and i know some of these diabetes diabetic diets suck um for for my diabetics out there the atkins diet works real well um and i think the other one was the they call it the caveman diet. Um, that's supposed to work well. But, you know, if you're gluten-free and all of that on top of everything else, why? You're going to have to make sure that what you use in there is gluten-free. So if it calls for a pasta, you have to change out your pastas. If it calls for sugar and you're not supposed to have it, you're going to have to change it out for stuff like this, which is my... I use the pure because it gives me the most for the for the, my money. And it is it's a stevia sweetener. It's USDA here we go. USDA. I don't know if you can see it because my camera doesn't want to focus. And it is a stevia. Stevia, stevia, tomato, tomato um thing. And it works really well. I use it all the time in my coffee, um, my coffees, my teas, all of that. I use all, I use that everywhere. If you're making, if you're, if you're making stuff like cookies and things, I tend not to use it in those. And I'll tell you why. It's because the sugar crystal, uh, the sugar, um, not only caramelizes, but it candies. And once the sugar candies, it helps hold the cookies together. So if you're using the stevia, the stevia doesn't do that. So you have to rely on the eggs and whatnot that's in the cookies to hold them together. That's why you get a lot of these, these uh, cookies that have no sweetener and they fall apart real easy is because they don't have that sugar helping hold them together. So today we're going to, I'm going to cook, I'm going to make a gluten-free cookie later here in another video with the Pure and we're going to see how it works out. If it works great, bonus. That means that yours truly can have cookies tonight. Because damn, I'm getting hungry for cookies. And I'm not allowed to have them. And wifey's made sure that I couldn't have the three packages of cookies we bought. She loves me. I know she does. And she's an awesome wife. I, I wouldn't trade her for anyone on the planet. Or in the galaxy for that matter. But, um, as I said before, you know, it's... She's trying to do what she can to help me stay out of trouble. 
because, you know, it, it, it sometimes comes down to the whole thing of that chocolate cake, I want that chocolate cake, and I'm going to eat that chocolate cake no matter what. And I know you all know what I'm talking about. Because you get that, that craving for foods, for creme brulee, chocolate cake, cheesecake, whatever. Uh, come to think of it, she found a sugar-free cheesecake recipe that I'm anxious to try. So I think we'll do a video on that too. See how that works out. Because um, if it works out really well, oh my god, I'll be in heaven. Um... But as far as uh, everything else goes, like I said, I leave my dishes soaked. As you can see behind me, they're soaking up. Um, I have all kinds of tools to do my job with. I apologize. I forgot to do the video on the microwave cleaning for you. Um, but I will get to that another time. And at some point in time, I'm going to have to clean this uh, toaster oven, and that's going to be no fun. Because we, somebody took the splash pan out of the bottom of it. That's my sarcastic face. So if you have equipment, don't take the splash pans out. It makes it so much harder to clean. Um, because now I have to clean, I not only have to clean the grates, you know, and stuff. For the, the food set on but now I have to clean the heating elements and then the bottom of the of the piece of equipment and that's gonna be a pain in the ass because my big fingers can't get underneath there so but we're gonna use the pink stuff and see how that works too I know how it works I clean my grill with it uh, for summer barbecue I clean the grill grates works wonderful and the funny part is that as disgusting as those grates were because I don't know when the last time they were cleaned was because my grill was given to me by a, by a dear friend of ours <laughs> but this poor sponge here took the brunt of it now here, let me find the camera I wasn't supposed to use this on there it was before we got the other ones I wasn't supposed to use it on there because this is supposed to be for in the kitchen doing dishes and whatnot but I did anyway because I had nothing else. And it was before we got these great big, these great big scrubbies in. But yeah, I use these. I use the eyeballs for the for straws. Uh, the mouth you can use for handles to wash up your forks or handles. Pan handles work well to just slide in and out. And it actually speeds up the time that you're standing in the kitchen. So if you guys are like me. As you can see, I'm leaning against the counter because I'm already hurting. Um, if you're like me, then you understand totally that, oh my God, this hurts. So, um, I'm going to go ask her if what to do next because cleaning videos, they're not something I'm used to doing. This whole video thing back when I was growing up we didn't have any of this stuff so you know if you didn't learn it, learn it from your parents or your friends parents you were just ass out and I kind of find it hilarious that you know you come across videos where they actually on YouTube where they actually tell you how to how to clean and how to shower and stuff like that and I'm just like what <laughs> you didn't know that already Hmm. <laughs> so anyway, um, let me stop the video. I'm going to go ask the wifey if I should continue on with the entire cleaning thing or what. Because I'm confused. All right, everyone, I'm back. I'm trying to figure out where to put the camera in order to help out or in order to uh, get that done. So um, this is one of my drying racks. Just gonna shake it out on the floor because you know we have to do the floor later anyway uh, usually I'll shake it into a garbage can if the floor is clean but since the floor isn't and I have to do that later on um, of course 
course the rack over here that you can barely see is uh, needing done so I'm trying to make sure that you guys can see as much as possible because I don't have a professional setup you know with cameras that can view in six different angles yada 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 wish I did but I don't even have a decent camera I'm doing it off my tablet I'm just all I'm doing is getting all of the clean dishes out of my rack putting them away our dish storage is in the living room so it takes me a minute sometimes to get there now wifey has requested pancakes for dinner so we're gonna do those later here in a few and cookies too. So but at the moment uh, we have ice trays we don't have an actual ice maker for our refrigerator so that's first first things first going to start with the ice trays And that will clear out quite a bit of space because they'll be in the refrigerator. Um, and yes, I do do stuff without shirts because here's the thing about that. I learned a long time ago uh, when I first started living in RVs and hotels and motels and things like that that if you didn't need to wear shirts and stuff don't because that just costs you money and laundry so out of when I was working before I, my retirement I would be spending somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 to $100 a week in laundry and I was getting pretty mad about that because I was trying to keep myself clean. You know, trying to keep everything nice and clean. And... You know, have a, have a high standard of hygiene and all of that. Well, I also worked out. So, you know, I did a lot of things away from the house. Laundry, my gym time, all of that was away from the house well here's the thing you know you got your work clothes you got your workout clothes um you got your bed sheets and pillows and all of that and whatnot and if you wash them in a laundromat you will soon find that that's a costly thing because you know the laundromats have to make money too so what I've gotten used to doing is running around with very little or nothing on. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because, as you can see, I don't have a shirt on. Um, and that is the reason why. Even here, 
you know, yes, the laundry is free until you add the gas for the hot water, the electricity for the wash machines, etc. Then it becomes clear as to why I do that. You know, my wife and I's electric bill is 125 a month. Now, add on top of that, not only 125 a month, but you got a, we've got a $62 gas bill. And that's just, that's with me trying not to wear, you know, like a full set of clean clothes every day. So if you guys need to save a little extra coins and, you know, things like that then yeah go for it if you're in if you're in your own residence who the hell cares if you have kids well there's not a whole lot i could say about that but you know if it's just you and the wife you and the girlfriend or you're single yeah save some extra money because you can put it somewhere else later all right here we go time to start on dishes so you get in here, I do it in cert, I use a circular motion. That way I get everything, as you can hear. Okay, handles. And this little brush really does do a fine job. Now, I know you're supposed to rinse in hot water. However, I can't afford hot water, so I use warm water. I wash it. I rinse out in lukewarm water just to save a buck. Trees. I would do voices and stuff for you guys, but you know, I'm afraid that YouTube would get us for copyright infringement. Because they, they, that's been their crusade lately. It's copyright infringement. If you say something wrong, if you state something wrong, if you title your videos wrong, you know. <laughs> They're basically being the thought police. I don't appreciate it. I don't agree with it, but it's their platform. Whatever. Uh, it's just, and the only reason I'm on it right now, to be honest with you, is because the wife's on it. There are plenty of other platforms to host, host your videos. Just YouTube's the popular one. Popular. So, uh, and that's all we're doing is just, uh, I do the glasses first. That way I give the silverware maximum time to soak off the food. Now the soap I use, I use the, I use Dawn in particular because it's powerful. It eats off the food for me and uh, makes life a lot easier. My wife, and I have, have agreed to disagree on the soaking. She doesn't soak them. She doesn't like to soak them. I do. But, you know. Again, opinions, and that's, you know, it's, it's the way it is. Now, if the rest of the planet could get along and agree to disagree on some of the stuff, instead of, you know, trying physical violence and the like, we would have a wonderful, wonderful planet.
because in the end, everybody's going to figure this out. That whether you're human or alien, you are a citizen of Earth. And there's no need to get all huffy. And more to the point, you're, for all of you humans out there, you're all human. Doesn't matter what what stripe you come, you are, you're all human. So, just, so this one, this is my protein glass. This is going to take a little bit. Oh, sorry. I had probiotic tea a few days ago, and it's still probiotic in there, apparently. So with this one, I'm going to, because it has these grooves here, I'm trying to scrub the grooves with the brush. And then once the grooves are, are scrubbed with the brush, I will go back over and do my circular motion. But I don't know why, I, I know why they did this, it's to reinforce the cup and it's a great idea, but it's awful to clean them. Especially in the grooves. You gotta get in those, you gotta get in these grooves here where the um, parts come together. gooder but see these grooves are on the inside here so you got to make sure you get all the food particles and protein and whatever you know if you made a fruit smoothie all that's going to catch in there okay so here's the rest of this yes um i also rinse out my stuff like as you can see here this i made homemade um chocolate mint coffee and chocolate is in the bottom of there so I rinse it down the sink and keep it clean and the reason I do I take that extra step is this it keeps your water nice for longer otherwise you're going to be changing out your sink all the time so if you can rinse all the if you can rinse as much debris and garbage out of your cups and your silverware before you put it before you do this it's great the silverware I started with is all dried on, so uh, not a chance. Um, let's see. Now, if you have stuff like this is from my cheeseburger the other night, and yes, that's grease. I had greasy burger at home. I don't need McDonald's. I have a greasy cheeseburger or whatever the hell I want. So you take, I take some the hot water, melt the grease off, and rinse it as best I can. And the this I'm gonna leave for later. I just wanted it out of the pan for the minute. Now I have to get the pan done because I need it for pancakes, and that's gonna be the first step. Um, my wife left. She had a gluten-free Amy's burrito. So I'm gonna wrap what's left of it up for later on for her for a snack. And even though we are on food stamps and stuff, it's still not a good idea to waste food. If you guys, I don't know if I have, well, I'll do that on a cooking video rather than a cleaning video. Never mind. But I'm going, what I'm doing is going around um, the, 
going around the kitchen and grabbing what old fashioned coffee pot. Not quite old enough to put on the stove, but yeah, it's close. But as you can see, it needs rinsed out. Wash. I only wash the this one once in a great while because that all that coffee stain in there does help to flavor the coffee. Um, so you don't want, like I said, this is an old fashioned Presto. So you don't want to like clean it out all the time. Rinse it out, yes, abs absolutely rinse it out all, every chance you get. But as far as like a good soapy cleaning, not so much. So, I might actually put some on for, might, I'm gonna refill this and put it on for some coffee. Hey, hon, you want me to do a pumpkin, pot of pumpkin spice? But as you can see, you can see all the coffee staining on this and in here. And that all that does is help to help to flavor it and make it because a lot of these are alumin are old aluminum and stainless steel and stuff. So what I'm doing by leaving that on there is preventing it from tasting like metal. See? You don't want your stuff, you don't want your coffee to taste like coffee and steel. That's just not a good thing. All right, I think I'm gonna do that. She's gonna leave it up to me, so. I need some hyperness going on here. I have booty drag. And it's not something I like. I'm also doing this without music, so it's kind of... I don't want to put music to it because, for one, copyright, and two, um, you'll never hear me. So, okay. Now, I don't know if you guys want to see me make coffee or not, but... Because I'm suspecting that nobody has a copy maker like that. Bro, mm. oh, no. Oh, God. I need your nose, babe. I need your nose. She said, I don't care. I said, okay, pumpkin spice coffee it is. Tis the season for Jack o' Lantern. I mean, Jack Skellington. Ba -la 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 -la. That should be thick enough. Thick enough. Really thick. All right. Blam.
Does that smell good? Yeah. Hi guys. I'm sorry for the abrupt stop. Uh, personal talkings. Um, I'm gonna save this for a few minutes from now um, because I want you guys to see what I'm about to do. If I can, I can get this up to where it's supposed to go. Because. Uh, okay. That might be a little better, I hope. It doesn't seem to want to do what I want it to, but that's okay. So, I have El Greasy Pan. Now. I have one whole cast iron pan, which makes me cry. I want a whole set of cast iron, but I have one whole cast iron pan. This is two day. This is two cheeseburgers worth of stuff, and you know, I need this for my pancakes. So what I do is this: turn the water on, make sure it's nuclear hot. Now, if you do this this way, make sure that you keep the water running for a little bit longer after you do this. Otherwise, you're going to have uh, problems with your sink because it will solidify in the pipes. So what I do, rinse it off. As you can see, it's coming off just fine. It looked awful, didn't it? Well, it still does to a degree, but using that, you know, throw it in the sink, put the soap in it, take our thing I save for later, put that in it, fill it up. Now it will soak itself, that needs to soak. Mm. Now, I'm going to show you the little spongy spongy over here. Now I can, I have to get the grease off my hands or otherwise I'm gonna wash, wash the dishes and put the grease back on. We don't want that. There we go. I think I got it running back there. So what I do with with these is scrub the scrub the front. If you want to, you can put this in here like this. See, put it in his mouth, and then you just go, and he's done. All right, they're they're uh, fairly cheap sponges. They're not uber cheap, but they are fairly cheap. This one has lasted me. This particular sponge has lasted me, I think she got it in May or June. And I'm still doing dishes with it. So from my point of view, it's absolutely fantastic. This, okay, you got your sharp knives. This is what I really like this for. So you put your sharp knife in, grab it. Make sure you grab, the, grab it correctly Okay, I'm going to put that down because I don't want to stab my own fingers. But you put it through, clamp it down, and just wipe. Okay? That way if something happens, you slip, kids pull on your pant leg and you turn while you're doing that. Now I put them back in my cutting block because my cutting block goes clear through and all the water and the gunk and stuff will run clear through onto the surface underneath it. If you don't have one that's a cutting block that's got its holes clear through it, you'll have to dry your stuff. Otherwise, it's gonna make a nasty mess in there. So, anyway, back to what I was doing. So either tool that you use is fine. You know, you you make up your own rules and do it. I'm just showing you my the way I do things. It's, I mean, you know, I'm not the expert. It's not cutting stone, but I also do not have a dishwasher because it would make this a thousand times easier. But this is the manual method. 
for doing your dishes. The nice part about doing it this way is I don't have to worry about, you know, my nice cups like my wife's Wookie cup I bought her exploding. Or my big dog cup. Now, if you guys are wondering, this ginormous cup here is my coffee cup. Yes, I'm a coffee hound. I also am a coffee hound with attitude, so. As you can tell, and I got this probably feels like a century ago, but I got that back in the 90s. Okay, so now we take, I'm gonna do a little scraping here, just to make sure I get the, there's debris and stuff on the bottom and I'm just doing this with the spatula to make sure we get it loosened. Okay, see it doesn't want to come off, so we're gonna turn around and use our scrubby. Okay, scrubby, scrubby. It's burnt on cheese, guys, so, you know, it's going to take a, a little bit of work to get that off. The grease is the easy part. The cheese, not so much. I also have my nails. My wife has really soft nails. I have really hard nails. So I use, I can use my fingernails to scrape and scrape it off if I need to. Uh, you know, no, they're not acrylic. I don't, I don't do all of that. Yes, I do my wife's nails. Don't get me wrong. I do her nails. I do her hair. I do her makeup. Uh, you know, I like doing that. It gives us a chance to bond and and gives me a chance to be creative with her and all of that good stuff. I'm going to dunk this in here real quick. Just to, just to make sure we got all of the greasy, grimy, nasty mixed stuff off of it. Now, I don't scrub hard on this pan because, for one, it's cast iron. And you want to have that that grease, there's a greasy coating on the inside. Oh, slipped the pie. There's a greasy coating over this pan. Now, this is a newer pan, so it had a had it had a, a non-stick coating over it. Okay, after you're done there, you want to dry it right away. Do not leave a cast iron pan wet because if you do, it will rust and rust. It, it can rust within an hour or two. My, I had a, my best, one of my best friends and ex-roommates um, had a cast iron set and he was forever leaving cast iron in water. And every time I looked, it was like, The rust was just completely nasty that way. So, okay, so we got our pan done and we're still working on the silverware, which is next. <sighs> oh, coffee's done. Okay, I'm gonna stop the film, I'll be right back. And, um, because I'm going to deliver a cup okay, of coffee. Okay, everybody. Now that I've gotten... I keep getting interrupted. I apologize. Um, tea powered. Alright, back to washing stuff. With these, you have to twirl it in the bottom of your cup to make sure that it washes everything. 
My hands are so big that most of the cups I have, I can't get my paws down into anyway. Ooh, that's too hot. So, it's just a matter of adjusting things to you for that. Um, and finding tools that work for you. I also have to take breaks in the middle of my of doing this stuff so that I can sit down and rest because of my back and the pain it causes to stand here and do this with you guys. Uh, tell my wife, I'm like, I'm too young to hurt like this. I'm only 18, damn it. Anyway. The other thing I like to do is try, <clears throat> my wife uses a lot of straws, love her to death, but sometimes it's, it's a matter of finding the straws and getting them out to wash them. Just a few straws. So, what I like to do is uh -oh, trying to escape. Uh, try to keep them all separated out while I'm scrubbing them. I take them and do them a handful at a time so that I can get, for one, I can get the job done. And it just makes it easier for me to keep a grip on everything. And they're all different lengths and all of that, so. But what I'm doing is watching to make sure that I get water in and rinse thoroughly the inside of the straw so there's no debris and, and all of that. Because that's where your that's where your germs are going to grow is inside of the straws. And then it's going to cause you all kinds of issues. I had a friend that um, was severely disabled because of that. contact with her because she moved out of state and stuff like that so I don't know if she's still around or not but my draggy was uh, affected by that kind of thing and you know if you're not if you're if you're not interrupted and things are going right it doesn't take a whole lot um, what I do with the silverware, grab a handful. I try not to grab more than like five or six. So separate it out like a like a card deck, like you're playing poker. And then this is where this comes in really handy. Okay, spin it over. And if they, you know, try to come together. That was a great idea, but a poor design. Mm 
they were cheap in the fact that they didn't put this all the way down. That it's just it's I do I try to do five, like I said five or six at a time wash it off ah, and when I'm rinsing running it or rinsing it under the water I'm actually looking at the silverware to make sure I got it all because you know sometimes you get bits and pieces that just don't want to come off. And you want to grab a fork out of the drawer and go, wow, I missed that. Or a spoon or whatever. Alright. So here we go again. Try to separate them out as far as you can. You always have one or two that like to argue. I think it's a silverware thing. Okay. Ready? Oh, two left, two left. Oh, yay. I get excited when I get through this so far. I generally don't do a whole lot with the backs of it or with the other parts of them because the soap. You know, if you get grease and grime and stuff on there, your soap with the hot water should take it up. If, you, if you're if you washing it and you feel that it's still grimy afterwards, then yes, indeed, do the handles. But, you know, I can get a grip on it. I figured it's okay. Oh, my nose is running all over my face. Okay, so shut the water off. Now, next part is a couple of plastic pieces. It's going to take a little bit. This one, not so much. The lids, the lids tend to be very easy to wash because they don't. I try not to fill everything up to where it's you know all over the lid and everything and you have to like press it down and squish it in. And, yeah. I try not to do that. Sometimes you have to, but most of the time you don't. Stay. Okay. You know, this is what I was talking about with the corners and stuff. You get into the corners of your squares. Uh, lips of your pots and pans and things. So, there's all that. Ah. Okay. So that piece is done. Now, the next part of the soaking is going to be all of your bowls and plates and stuff. Here we go, nice thick stack into the water. Okay, and this stack will be down here, and then you soak it. Meanwhile, you can be wiping down your counters, you can be doing anything else. I'm going to be attempting to get this morning's oatmeal off of the out of here. So, I'm gonna put the filter in my sink. Okay, that's good to go, and poof, that bowl goes in there, that's good to go, and this was what was in the bottom, that's why I use the strainers, because otherwise that, all that goes down your sink, and it does have a tendency to clog things up.
I'm far enough along I can close up my I'm far enough along that I can close up my my um, ovens so sorry I'm looking a little bit down at you guys but I'm close far enough along I can open or close the oven but I gotta wipe off the door and stuff first so that that be the next uh, project so and all I do is take my spongy get some soap and water in it not too much and just go over it real quick and wipe it down I haven't had planned to scrub it just yet if I were to scrub it I would use the pink stuff and scrub it up and make it look all nice but for right now it's just more of a let's knock the dirt off of it clean up the water so I can close it up because the oven's going to go into use here in a little bit anyway four cookies if I can get that far today see how far I can push this I like to see how far how much I can stack in a sink because the more I can soak the f the more I can soak in the sink the faster it'll go so here we go as you can probably tell I have it clear up a little bit over the rim which is fine because, uh, stuff like this and you're good now I I am still on keep in mind that I am still on the first uh, I I'm still on the first sink of dishes so I'm still on the first sink, or the first uh, load of, soap load of dishes. I haven't changed the water or anything else yet because I keep rinsing the dishes off before I put them in there. So it keeps your water nicer, extends it, especially if you can't, you know, you're on a limited budget, so, or you're, you're, <laughs> you're like us with a double whammy, Limited budget and no car, so it's not like I can run it to the store and go get another thing of soap. But it helps it helps um, your soap last a lot longer. And that's that's what we're trying to accomplish with all of this. I'm gonna need another sink because by the time I get to this here in another half hour or so, because it's gonna take about a half hour. I usually take a half hour in between. Uh, to go do something else, whether it's cleaning down the kitchen or I'll go play video games or, you know, go do something different. Um, it takes a minute to soak them anyway. And I'm... At the moment, I'm just trying to figure out what's next on the agenda. She wanted pancakes, so I think we'll do the pancake video after the cleaning video here. So you might want to stand by for that because I'll probably put them both up at the same time. And then, uh, I know you guys have seen me make pancakes before. Um, it's, it's just a redo of the other video. Only I've got a couple of more twists that I put in it. So you might want to stand by for that. Uh, improve the recipe and, and so forth. So, all right. I will see you in a bit. Hi everybody, I'm back again. Sorry about the light up here. Uh, it's getting dark, so I had to turn the light on, but it's been about a half hour. I've been talking to the wifey and getting things settled. So back to our fun problem. Now the water is gonna be quite a bit cooler. It's kind of lukewarmish and that's just fine. By now it should have done, you could see you can see the grease and stuff floating up. It should have done its job by now. So it's time to scrubby scrubby.
So I'm going to start with this because I can use the other one, but see, this just makes my life a whole lot easier. Nineteen eighty style sinks are fun. So this is what this is the point I was trying to make earlier is that you can wash these corners out very easily this way. With very little time and effort and get them all nice and clean. Get the grease. Usually I, f I found that there's grease and stuff that um, clogs up in there and it is kind of horrible. It's a horrible thing when that happens. But yeah. Do uh, listening to she's my wife has been teasing me about listening to uh, the Backstreet Boys. But, you know, when I find good music and good songs, I don't mind. I'm not. I am not trying to impress, you know, anybody. I'm just, I'm just doing me. If the song makes me happy, makes me feel good, I am going to listen to it. I don't care who did it. Uh, my musical tastes are, I have a huge range. I'm not really a fan of a single, like, band, quote-unquote, quote-unquote, a single band. I don't prescribe to anything like that, so, you know, I mean, the one band I do like a majority of their music is uh, Within Temptation. I do like a majority of their music. Um, but I listen to all kinds of different, different stuff. Old stuff, new stuff. I like, I like music that makes me want to stomp my feet, dance around the kitchen, make me sing, and make me feel like awesome. So, that's, that's me. You know, if I want to feel bad, all I have to do is read the news, huh? If I want drama, well, life's got enough drama in it for everybody. I don't need a drama show. So, this is where I switch sponges. Is with the, with the plates and stuff. Because this one has more surface area to get everything up. And we have dogs, and I don't know what it is about dogs that, you know... I, we have, we have three service dogs, and I tend to have them clean up the, the excess food, that way at least it doesn't go to waste, see? Now I could have done, had that all in the water, instead of all in the sink. <laughs> When you're doing dishes, it's amazing what what stuff like ketchup and mustard looks like after it's dried out and, you know, put on a plate and stuff like that. But, yeah. No, if the, if the music makes me feel great, that's, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for stompy, dancey, happy kind of thing. If it makes you get off your chair and dance around the house, that's it. That's that's where it's at. You want to be happy. I mean, really. We have enough miserable people on this planet. And there are some people who are trying to work to make people even more miserable. I won't mention any leaders' names or any names at this point or ever, because we're not being political here. This is not a political channel. I'm not doing politics. But like I said, if you have a song that's 
Um, makes you want to get up and dance. Great. That's, that's what you want. That's where I'm at anyway. I'm I'm over the whole. Oh my God! You listen to that band kind of thing. Well, if, it, if they got a good song, yes, I do. Might only be that one song I listen to. Like I've got, I've got lots of music, but it's like one song from this singer, one song from that singer, one song from this band, a couple songs from that band. Yeah. So this, this, you really want to you can do that. Easy way to get that done. Now. All of that's done. I've got just a few more dishes. However, I need to change the water because all of the debris and stuff is in the bottom of the sink. And I've got greasy dishes coming up. So what you want, what you guys really want to do is you do your silverware. Your your glasses are first. Silverware. Arg. I swear I need a GoPro. So you want to do your silverware first, or your glasses first, then your silverware, then your plastics. Okay? Don't do your plastics before you do your greasy dishes, because the grease will just stick to the plastic, and it, it'll be a bitch to get it off. So, do do your your glasses, your silverware, your plastics then your plates and stuff save your greasy dishes for the very end because that way you can change the water out you can fr have fresh hot water which will break up the grease along with the soap all right and that way you are uh your other dishes are not affected by it and i <laughs> i learned my lesson the hard way a long time ago man that infection is really bad isn't it I've got an infection over here in my tooth, and <clears throat> it looks like it's discoloring my eye and stuff over there. It looks like I got popped in the eye, but I didn't. That's from an infection. Yeah. Come on. I also have a spare plunger for that job because for whatever reason somebody put a 90 degree a 90 in the sink when they put it together but you never want to do that especially with kitchen sinks Probably end up going in there with a probe and fixing it. But yeah, they they put a 90 in the sink, and that's the result of it. You never want to put a 90 90 degree angle thing in your sink. You just don't want to do that because everything will get caught in that 90. What you want to do is put 245 degrees in there when you build. But I'm pretty sure that only the DIYers and stuff like that would appreciate that advice. Pretty much out of soap. So. so 
So what I'm going to do while the sink fills up, I'm going to go ahead and try and get some of this taken care of before I hit the greases. Now, I got the greasy pan earlier, from earlier, but I've got a grease, I've got its lid sitting over here, which I don't need at the moment. But still, it's going to be greasy and fugly. And I've got my chicharron container. And yes, I am saving it. I'm saving it because I have another excuse for it. But also, a nice thing for this is that you can. circles spin your way up to the top make sure you get under the lip yeah no I'm not putting screws in or anything in this guys I'm putting my wife uh, gave me some of her little containers we bought for her uh, glitter collection that she has and she now has new containers so she gave me her old ones and I have nowhere to put them so in a case like that, I'm, all I'm going to do is put them in here. But I ate the teacher runes out of there so I could have that for that purpose. Um, I can have them in one place and all of that, you know. I'm sure you guys understand all of that. Okay. Now I've got this to go after that pot. As you can see, it's a nasty mess. This is what I was talking about. See if we got the coffee off of here. Yet. Yeah. Might take a minute. Not totally sure. Oof, that's hot. It's just dried on coffee, so it shouldn't take it. It shouldn't be a big, big deal. It's just been one of those days for me. Kind of stressed over bills and the like. The fact that you know, no matter which way I turn, things are not turning out the way I need them to. Families, we've lost about $1,200 a month out of our budget so that really hurts that's over half of our income so the bill the important bills are stacking up real fine I've got to call and make and be the diplomatic I'm gonna wipe off my cupboard over here Before I wash that, so I'm gonna take. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but well, let's. See. Sorry for the move, camera movement, everybody. I apologize. So let's see. And you can see some of it. I'm just. All I'm gonna do is lightly wipe. 
let the soap kind of soak into some of these spots. Make sure that, you know, everything's all golden. Okay, that's ready there. And then, uh, that's gonna be fun. That's my stove. Um, I'm probably not going to clean it at the moment. Now, for some of you who who might want to do that, oh my god, this thing! Ah. Like I said, I need a GoPro or something. For some of you who wants wants to clean the stove, my stove is easy because I can take it apart. Some of you might have the glass tops or whatever else. I will if the water is okay, meaning that it's not it's not that greasy it's you know you can snap your fingers after you get done uh, with it on the inside I would I will wipe down my stove and everything else but tonight I have to make pancakes which is another video so and um, that's gonna take a minute pancakes is usually about two hours for me you want to, and you ask me why? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I make about 40 of them at a time. So it's not just, a, oh, I'm going to feed the family tonight. No, it's when I make them, it's for my wife uh, so that she can have breakfast for most of the rest of the month. And yeah, they'll last that long in the refrigerator. So. But you just have to be careful with what you're doing. But yeah, I make a lot at one time. My allergies are kicking my butt. You have to, I make a lot at one time. It's because I want to make it, get it done, get it over with. And yeah, I'll have a few at the end of it too. Because, you know, pancakes and eggs. Um, my wife and I have found some wonderful low calorie syrup that we can enjoy the pancakes with. So, um, as far as doing the dishes and stuff, that's pretty much it. I'll show you guys the end results of this. So, I, as you can see, I rinsed it off. So, I, I got, I broke up the grease, got the service grease off. And then I threw it in here, which is as hot as I can take it. Actually, it's hotter than I can. Ouch. It's hotter than I can stand it. But It's... I wouldn't put my paws in there for too long. Okay. Now, same lid. You got you saw it. It's on video. Same lid. So I'm gonna put the lid in here to dry. Not bad. So water's fine. Like I said, I would, I would you, I will use the same water to clean up the stove. Um, here, here, doozish kind of thing. I'm gonna fight with this thing. I usually have it sitting because I use my tablet for my stereo in the kitchen because I don't have any like decent speakers. And by decent, I mean loud as hell. Um, but I I will take the dishwater. I will use it to clean the stove, the ovens, all the counters, and everything else down. The very end, I'll sweep up, mop the floor, and be done with it, okay? Um, and I know you guys know how to do all, all of that. So I'm not gonna spend time coaching you through that. I, however, am going to stop the video real quick, turn the camera around, and show you what we just did. So, for the record, okay, here's my tea glass, sorry. It's not a part of the clean one. So we cleaned this part of the cabinet because I'm going to need that. And then, as you can see underneath, there's all your dishes that we did. 
All right. Yeah, it took me a little longer than it should have. I I'm not in a hurry. I don't have children. I don't, you know, go to work or anything like that. Um, your soak times will vary depending on what you need to do. But see here. And I will definitely clean that up after afterwards. I'm also going to use that water to clean as I go with the dishes I make um, with the with the pancakes, so that after I'm done cooking and everything else, everything's all cleaned up. Uh, excuse the diabetic needles. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's a full sink of fresh water. There's no need to waste it. And like I said, I will, I will get all of that done in a moment, but they're all nice, they're clean, they're drying. And that's the manual method of dishes that I use. Okay, um, there's your cleaning video guys. Hope you enjoy. If I uh, need to include anything else or whatever, please feel free to comment. If you liked it, thumb, give it a thumbs up and comment as well. Thank you. Talk to y'all later. Bye.